a unicycle is a new piece. Here you're learning a new note, and it's right below which guide note in the treble clef? It's treble clef. Treble clef. Treble clef. Oh, treble clef. clef. Yes, think about treble clef. Um, it's right below middle C. So what is the name of this new note? B. It's a B. So how about if we circle the Bs in this piece? Shall we? Because there's a whole mess of them in your right hand. Mm. So always spy that middle C, and then you'll see exactly where the treble clef B is. I think I see a B in the measure 5 in the right hand. Oh. Yes. Lots of Bs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! There. Good. Lots of bees. Okay. So, how about if you try the right hand? Just the first measure to the next downbeat. Do you remember that that's called a unit? When you play one measure to the next downbeat. Yes, okay. So now, in between, let's go ahead and figure out this measure and this measure. So can you take it right on that middle C? There you go. So that's that measure. Okay? So you'll notice that you actually have to you have to leap just a bit, right? To get to the G. Yes. Do you feel that? Yes. You don't want to stretch, you don't want to reach for any key, right? You just want to shift your weight. followed by quarter notes, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to be very aware that your eighth notes are one and two, they're subdivided. One and two. Okay. One and two. Next line. Let's go ahead and play those, whatever that is. Tell me what that is. What would tie. you call that? A tie. And what are the names of those two notes? B and B. Good. And what's the interval between them? Third. Third. Okay, so let's play that. And that's all tied, right? And then yes, and then here, you play that again. One, two, three, good. Go and then how many beats One, do you two, count? Two. Very good. All right, and tell me about this line. Is it the same or different than another line? It is the same. It's the same as which line? Good. So if we call that first line letter A, okay, if we gave this piece a form, oh, you're so smart. Letter B for the second line, letter A for the third line, and then what about this, the last line? Is it just like the second line or is it a little different? It is a little different. It's just a little different. So I don't know if I would call it C, because a C would be completely different. Mm -hmm. So I would call it B, all right? And then I would put a 1 right there, mm -hmm. or prime, B prime, okay? So that means it's similar to something else, but a little bit different. Good for you. Okay, so now we've got just a little bit of time left. Why don't we go ahead and work on these last two measures? So let's play just your right hand. Okay, we're going to go, actually, let's just do a unit, uh, unit practice set one more time. We'll just go to that last one. Good, that's enough. Good. And then your left hand, is it the same or different than your right hand? It is the same. It is the same. Good. Just watch, for the, watch yourself playing, without playing dense, right? No dense. Kangaroo. And what do our kangaroos show us? Claws. 
No, they're not a kickoff. They are a push off, right? Because the, the kangaroo pushes off on what? What part of his body does he push off on? His legs. Can they push forward? Because the kangaroo doesn't go up, it goes forward, right? And let your whole arm move forward. Can you give it a little bit more of a sound? There you go. There you go. And do you feel it here? Can you good? Can you slow it down? Can you go one? Can you wait in between times that you push off? Because look at what's happening in my arm. I push off and then I rest on the keys. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Four. Good. Try a little louder. One. Yes! Three, four. Two, three, four. There you go. Three, four. Very nice. Good. Wonderful. Sound good? That's a good push off. Wonderful, wonderful.